If you're planning to move to Florida or just thinking about it, you might be wondering exactly where is the best place for you to live. If you're just tired of this and this and this and you want to trade it in for warmer weather, sunshine, palm trees, beaches and tax benefits, there are lots of reasons to move here. I did it a long time ago, but exactly where in Florida is right for you? In this video, we'll run down the list of the 10 best places to live in Florida. It's based on examining multiple lists and criteria, including quality of life and cost of living, as well as my experience here. I've spent time in all these places. So let's get started with the countdown, the best places to live in Florida. And number 10 is Port St. Lucie. You can find Port St. Lucie right in the heart of Florida's Treasure Coast in Lucie County. It's on the southeast side of the state, just about an hour north of Palm Beach and about halfway between Orlando and Miami. Maybe you haven't heard about Port St. Lucie, but if you're looking for a more relaxed atmosphere and quiet neighborhoods built around scenic waterways and golf courses, this might be a place to think about. You might find more affordable homes to buy or rent compared with other markets in South Florida, but let me tell you, as more people find out about Port St. Lucie, the cost of housing has been going up. The median home Home price is $379,916. We'll use Redfin's March data to compare median home prices. While the area is growing, it still has some of that authentic Florida feel. The climate in Port St. Lucie is subtropical. That means you can wear shorts and flip-flops almost year-round. For some people, the extremely hot temperatures in the late summer are a little bit intense, so they plan most of their outdoor activities earlier in the day. We also learned to live with hurricane season from June through November. In fact, let me tell you how the Treasure Coast got its name. It was 1715 when a Spanish treasure fleet was hauling loads of gold and silver and jewels. Those ships got caught in a hurricane and sank right off the coast here. Pirates swarmed the area. And to this day, treasure hunters are still finding pieces of treasure just offshore. In addition to treasure hunting, outdoor activities in Port St. Lucie, of course, include the nearby beaches, and boaters love cruising along the St. Lucie River. You'll find several boat ramps in the area and a lot of places to fish year-round. You can also find a wide range of shopping and dining options here, and if you play golf, you can play year-round. The population in Port St. Lucie is approaching 344,000 according to the latest available U.S. Census data. Retirees love the warm climate and the low cost of living, but families are attracted to the schools here and the low crime rate. So if you're looking for a more relaxed atmosphere, quiet neighborhoods built around scenic waterways and golf courses, Port St. Lucie might be a place to consider. Number nine on the list is Pensacola. It's the westernmost city in the Florida Panhandle and the only incorporated city in Escambia County. It's also the only one of our top 10 places to live in Florida that's in the central time zone. Pensacola is known for its laid-back coastal way of life. It's near the beach along the Gulf of Mexico with 50 miles of coastline. Pensacola is hours away from other major cities in Florida, but it's only about 90 minutes from Mobile, Alabama and three hours from New Orleans. In addition to the beautiful beaches near Pensacola, you'll find lots of public parks. The Gulf Islands National Seashore is really awesome. So Pensacola is a great place to live if you love the outdoors. Fishing is a favorite activity here, and you can find a number of boat ramps if you're heading out for deep sea fishing. Pensacola is home to the Naval Air Station and the U.S. Navy's famous Blue Angels. Major employment opportunities include financial services, health care, and tourism, and the median home price is $285,000. So if you're looking to buy a home here, you can really get some bang for your buck. Pensacola is also known for its long local history. It's one of the oldest metro areas in Florida. You can explore places like the Pensacola Museum of History at the University of West Florida, the National Naval Aviation Museum, and the Pensacola Lighthouse and Maritime Museum. You've also got to check out Fort Pickens along the Gulf Islands National Seashore. By the way, if you love fresh seafood, you can find plenty of local restaurants featuring the fresh catch of the day. And if you're more about the symphony than seafood, you can check out the Pensacola Pensacola Symphony Orchestra at the local theater, as well as Broadway productions. The population of Pensacola is about 54,000 people. Your cost of living here will be lower than what the average person pays across the country because of the area's low housing costs. So if you're looking for a place in the Florida Panhandle with an affordable cost of living, lots of sugar white sand beaches, and incredible 
emerald colored water, Pensacola might be the right place for you. Number eight is Miami and Miami-Dade County, which is on the far southeast Atlantic coast. Miami is probably the most vibrant city on the list and the largest metro area with more than six million residents. That means you'll also find a wide variety of job opportunities here. And this area is becoming one of the biggest international business hubs in the world. With its generally business-friendly environment and favorable tax structure, it's no surprise that a lot of big name companies have their headquarters in Miami. And there's so much culture and so many diverse neighborhoods with a strong presence of Caribbean and Latin American heritage. Come sundown, you can enjoy the nightlife all over town from dance clubs in Little Havana to the chic bars in Miami Beach. Miami attracts young professionals while Miami Beach still has that party atmosphere. But Miami's not for everybody. The metro area is more expensive and has a relatively high crime rate and a tropical monsoon climate. The population of Miami is more than 2.6 million with a median age of about 40. And the median home price is close to $562,000. And some of the suburbs like Coral Gate Gables, Doral, and Key Biscayne are great places for families. If you move to Miami, you can enjoy the same things vacationers come here to enjoy, including Miami Beach. It's about 30 minutes from downtown. Miami Beach is about nine miles long, and the far south end, South Beach, is two and a half miles. That's the trendy area that's famous for its art deco buildings, neon, and nightlife. Sports fans have lots to cheer about, pro basketball, baseball, and football teams, and there's lots of golf, deep sea fishing, and scuba diving. Miami is also famous for its art and fashion exhibitions. And of course, like any big city, there's a wide variety of shopping options, including upscale designer name brand stuff, if that's your thing. If you're looking for big city living with a tropical climate, great business opportunities, and an active nightlife, all with a twist of Caribbean and Latin flair, if it's in your budget, Miami might be a good option for you. If you're considering a move to Florida, let me know in the comments section where you're thinking thinking about relocating and why. Just up the East Coast, a little less than three hours from Miami, is Melbourne in Brevard County, number seven on the list. You have a small town feel close to the coast and not too far from Florida's biggest attractions. It's just a 90 minute drive to Disney World and Orlando's other theme parks. And it's just an hour drive up the coast to the Kennedy Space Center. But you can just walk outside on a clear day and watch rocket launches from your backyard. Melbourne is one of the most populated metro areas on the Space Coast with more than 85,000 residents. Median home price is $332,500. And since Melbourne attracts new residents from all over the country, you'll have neighbors from all walks of life, everything from professionals to families to retirees. In addition to miles of unspoiled beaches, the Melbourne area is loaded with options for outdoor recreation, including the 155 mile long Indian River Lagoon, the most biologically diverse estuary in North America. You can go boating, kayaking, fishing, or just watch the manatees. And if you love golf, you'll love the public and private golf courses. And be sure to check out the Brevard Zoo. It's home to more than 900 animals from around the world. If you love the arts, you'll love the local art scene, including the Yogali Arts District, a mix of museums and galleries. And you'll also find a variety of bars, restaurants, and shops in the historic downtown area. So if you're looking for an urban area with a smaller hometown feel, close to miles of unspoiled beaches, lots of nature, and not too far from the major attractions, you might want to take a look at Melbourne. Orlando is number six on the list of best places to live in Florida. It's right in the middle of the state in Orange County. It's the most famous city in Central Florida, of course, because of all the tourist attractions like Disney, Universal Studios, and SeaWorld. In fact, Orlando is the most visited destination in the world, with some 75 million people coming here in 2019 before the pandemic. But Orlando is more than just a tourist mecca. The city is booming with other industries, which makes it a magnet for young adults. The downtown area features great restaurants and a busy nightlife that might have something to do with the average age of residents that's under 34 years old. Orlando has a diverse population with more than 309,000 residents. Lake Eola is right in the middle of it all. You can take a walk around the lake and check out the swans. Some of the nearby neighborhoods have brick streets. In fact, the North Quarter neighborhood was ranked fifth best neighborhood to live in America by Niche.com based on affordability, school 
schools and amenities. Even though Orlando has become a very popular place to move over the last few years, real estate is fairly affordable compared with other places in Florida. You can choose from a variety of homes from downtown condo living to suburban single family homes. The median price for a home in Orlando is $360,000. What used to be the heart of the citrus industry, many of those old orange groves are being developed into residential neighborhoods on the outskirts of Orange County. There's a lot of culture here. The Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center is the venue for concerts and Broadway shows. And Orlando is home to the University of Central Florida, one of the biggest universities in the country by enrollment. And there's so much to do in Orlando. Some people move here just for the theme parks and residents do get deals including discounted annual passes. There's International Drive with tourist attractions and restaurants, but it can get crowded with tourists. A lot of hotels are in the area and so is the Orange County Convention Center. It's one of the biggest in the country, so there's a lot happening on iDrive. Closest beaches include Daytona Beach and Cocoa Beach. They're both about an hour away. And there's Port Canaveral where you can hop aboard a cruise ship to the Caribbean. For sports fans, there's pro basketball, soccer, and several annual bowl games are played here. So if you love theme parks, you love the beach, but you'd rather live more inland, and you're looking for a variety of homes that are more affordable than some other parts of Florida, you might want to consider Orlando. By the way, if you're considering a move to Florida, I can help you find the best real estate agent in any part of the state. Contact me directly and I can refer you to somebody. Back to the Gulf Coast now for the number five best place to live in Florida, St. Petersburg in Pinellas County. St. Petersburg has a thriving downtown area. It's close to several incredible beaches. It has a great arts and culture scene, and it's the second biggest city in the Tampa Bay area with close to 260,000 residents. If you live here, the beaches are really close. There's St. Pete Beach, Indian Rocks Beach, and my all-time favorite, Treasure Island, which has been ranked among the top beaches in America. You'll find 35 miles of sugar white sand, warm Gulf waters, and awesome sunsets, plus chill places to eat, fresh seafood, and tiki bars. By the way, St. Petersburg and St. Pete Beach are two completely different cities. Either way, though, you're not far from the Gulf of Mexico. St. Petersburg is one of the nation's fastest growing cities, but it's still more affordable compared with other big cities. The cost of living is about 6% lower than the national average. The median home price is $385,000, so you can enjoy really nice coastal living at an affordable price. Real estate in St. Petersburg is one of the big reasons it's so affordable. Housing prices are about 11% lower than the national average. You'll also find diverse employment opportunities and job growth over the next 10 years is expected to be higher than the national average. Downtown St. Petersburg has great restaurant shopping and cultural attractions. Some of the best restaurants are in the downtown waterfront area. St. Petersburg is sort of a melting pot of people from all over the country and even from around the world, so it's a great place to meet new people. Yeah, yeah. St. Petersburg has a great nickname too, Sunshine City. Believe it or not, on average, there are only four days a year when the sun does not shine here. So it's a great place for golfing, boating, and fishing, and it's home to the Tampa Bay Rays Major League Baseball team and Tropicana Field, their indoor domed stadium. It's also home to the world-renowned Salvador Dali Museum. It's the largest collection of Dali's work outside of Spain. And here's a fun fact. St. Petersburg is the most dog-friendly city in America with plenty of vets and pet stores and pet-friendly restaurants. If you're looking for an artsy, urban, laid-back place with incredible beaches only 10 or 15 miles away, you should definitely consider St. Petersburg. The number four best place to live in Florida is Cape Coral. It's a small city in Lee County, 117 miles south of St. Petersburg on the southwest Florida coast. Cape Coral is part of the Fort Myers metro area. And for the more than 204,000 people who live here, it's a laid back lifestyle with Gulf Coast beaches, golf courses, and more. If you like the idea of waterfront living, Cape Coral has 400 miles of freshwater and saltwater canals that run through the city. That's more than any other city in the world. So there's no shortage of boating, fishing, and water sports. In fact, Cape Coral's nickname is Waterfront Wonderland. Most canal front homes have great views, but not all have direct access to the Gulf of Mexico. The most desirable properties are on saltwater canals with direct sailboat access to the Gulf, which means there are no bridges to go under. Overall, Cape Coral is affordable, but the cost of living 
is higher than the state average. Housing options include everything from single family homes to condos and luxury homes. The median home price in Cape Coral is $399,700, a little lower than in Fort Myers. And it's considered one of the best places to live in Florida because of its affordability and low crime rate. With a subtropical climate, Cape Coral is pretty hot. Summers are humid and winters are short and comfortably warm. Employment opportunities include the biotech, medical, and marine industries. In addition to outdoor recreation, there's a wide variety of shopping opportunities and tasty local cuisine. And when the sun goes down, you'll find bars and nightclubs. And I've got to mention Naples here. It's about 40 miles south of Cape Coral, and it ranks on a lot of other lists of best places to live in Florida. And it is nice. It ranks as the safest place to live in all the U.S., but it's expensive. So if you have a really good budget, you might want to check out Naples too. Retirees love living in Cape Coral. It's considered one of the best places to retire in the country because of its laid back and active lifestyle, as well as access to great hospitals and healthcare facilities. So if you're looking for a place with low cost, waterfront living, nice weather, a low crime rate, outdoor activities, and fantastic beaches, you should consider Cape Coral as a place to call home. On the opposite corner of the peninsula is Jacksonville, the number three best place to live in Florida. Jacksonville is the biggest city in Florida by landmass, but the population is smaller than Tampa or Miami. Nearly 955,000 people call Jacksonville home. It's in Duval County. The city and the county actually merged back in 1968, creating one single government for the whole county, except for the beach communities. In Jacksonville, you'll find a mix of big city life and you can live near the Atlantic Ocean, but it's still affordable. You'll find major employers in the banking and healthcare industries. One of the nation's three Mayo Clinics is in Jacksonville. As far as housing, there's a range of diverse neighborhoods surrounding the downtown area. A lot of different choices with more than 500 different neighborhoods ranging from urban, rural to beach areas. So it's a big city with a small town feel. Real estate prices are more affordable in Jacks, as the locals call it, than in South Florida. The median home price is $295,000. So a lot of people decide to move here for that reason. And other people like Jacksonville because it's close to the Georgia border. So the weather's not as extreme as in South Florida. The skyline is spectacular when it lights up at night. The St. John's River cuts through downtown, so Jacksonville is connected by bridges that also link the city to the nearby beaches. And you're just 17 miles from some great beaches, including Jacksonville Beach and Atlantic Beach. Of course, there's great fishing and boating along the inland waterways and off the coast. Popular shorelines include Ponte Vedra and Amelia Island. They're both known for their golf courses. And you're only 45 minutes away from historic St. Augustine, one of the most unique historic places in Florida. Jacksonville also has a growing restaurant scene, including some great dining options in the San Marco and Southside neighborhoods. The metro area is big enough to find something for everybody to enjoy, including nature trails for hiking and marshes for kayaking. You'll find museums, theater, and performing arts, as well as plenty of sports, including pro football. So if you're looking for more affordable Florida living with a thriving city and a great job market close to the Atlantic Ocean, but more moderate weather than you'll find in the South Florida heat, Jacksonville might be the place for you. Tampa is located in Hillsborough County on Tampa Bay, close to the Gulf of Mexico, and it's the second best place to live in Florida on our countdown. It's now one of the biggest cities in Florida with about 390,000 residents, but the population of the entire Tampa Bay region is much higher. A lot of people are moving there, and it's no surprise because Tampa has so much to offer for so many people. Lots of trendy neighborhoods, top-notch restaurants, and of course, Tampa Bay and the beaches. If you live in the Tampa Bay area, it's like being on vacation all year. You have the laid back beach lifestyle and all the amenities of a big metropolitan area, including museums, professional sports teams, all kinds of entertainment, and all ranges of dining options. The younger generation is drawn here not just because of the warmer weather and the tax benefits that we all have in Florida, but also because of the big city vibe and the wide array of job opportunities. Tampa has seen an influx of employers, including manufacturing and financial services. It's home to about 20 corporate headquarters, 
and it's a growing tech hub. MacDill Air Force Base is also nearby. The cost of living in Tampa is about 3% lower than the state average, and the cost of housing is on par with the national average for both home ownership and rentals. Because of that affordability, Tampa has more singles and young professionals than a lot of other Florida cities. The median age in Tampa is in the mid-30s. The median home sales price is $410,000. And you'll find a wide range of housing options in Tampa, everything from older neighborhoods to ultra-modern high-rises. The Tampa metro area is huge. It includes Tampa, St. Petersburg, and Clearwater, and they each kind of have their own unique personality. If you live in Tampa, you'll find some nice waterside fun spots along Tampa Bay, but keep in mind it's a good 30 to 40 minute drive to the Gulf beaches. Not bad, but those closest beaches like Clearwater Beach, well, they're awesome. With the Gulf and the Bay, there's no shortage of water sports, jet skis, boating, fishing, parasailing, swimming, you name it. You also have the popular Busch Gardens Amusement Park. It's as much fun as the Orlando theme parks and it's a lot closer. But if you really love the Orlando theme parks, they're just a couple of hours away. And you can get your pirate on at the annual Gasparilla Festival. It's like Mardi Gras with a pirate theme. It's fun. Downtown Tampa features restaurants, shopping, and other hangouts, and the area around the Tampa Bay Convention Center downtown is super nice. And another cool place is Ybor City. It used to be known as the cigar capital of the world. It was developed by Cuban and Spanish cigar factory workers in the early 1900s. Now it's known for its great restaurants and nightlife. And you've got pro sports, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Tampa Bay Rays who play not far away in St. Petersburg. So if you're looking for a big city feel with trendy neighborhoods, a wide variety of employment options, good restaurants, and all within a relatively short drive to the beach, Tampa might be the place for you. Before we get to the number one best place to live in Florida, I want to throw out a couple of quick honorable mentions. Tallahassee is the state capital and it's recognized as a great place to live. The cost of living is lower than the state average and housing is cheaper than the national average. It's just 22 miles from the Gulf of Mexico. And the other honorable mention is St. Augustine. This historic city is just 45 minutes south of Jacksonville and also ranks on other lists of best places to live in Florida. It's the oldest continuously occupied city in the United States, established in 1565 by the Spanish. You'll see narrow streets and historic buildings and the old Spanish fort, the Castillo de San Marcos that guards the city is awesome. And now the number one best place to live in Florida on our list is Sarasota. Sarasota County is on the Gulf Coast about 45 minutes south of St. Petersburg. If you're looking for a Florida beach town on the Gulf Coast that just about has it all, take a look at this place. Sarasota has its own distinct feel that's different from other coastal cities in Florida. You'll find a beachy atmosphere with sort of an upscale classiness. It has its own dynamic art scene, plus an expanding food culture, and it's family friendly. Sarasota County has one of the top ranked public school districts in Florida. Once upon a time, Sarasota was known more as a place for retirees, but that reputation is changing as more young professionals are making their move to the coastal community. Job opportunities include health care, insurance, and manufacturing. Nearly 55,000 people call Sarasota home. The population of Sarasota County is more than 447,000. And people who wind up in Sarasota seem to be attracted to the area's unique charm, not to mention some of the best beaches in the world. A total of nine beaches are close to Sarasota, but there's one that really stands out. Siesta Key Beach is consistently ranked as one of the top beaches in the U.S., and it is awesome. The sand is 99% quartz, so even on the hottest days, it stays cool when you walk on it. It also feels kind of powdery. Combine that with the turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico and it's magical. Some of the other nearby beaches are nice too and they're not as crowded. Check out Venice and Nokomis beaches. But Sarasota offers a lot more than the best beaches. You have downtown with resorts and fine dining and the nearby marina with the yachts and sailboats. It's very scenic. Then there's St. Armand Circle, a trendy seaside setting with great shops, great restaurants, and an awesome vibe. Sarasota is also the center of the Gulf Coast cultural scene with two art museums and ballet and opera. 
Suburban neighborhoods are just a few miles away from the downtown area. Sarasota real estate is pricier than other parts of Florida. The median home price is $535,000. You'll find a wide variety of housing options from townhouses to multifamily units to single family homes of all sizes and price points, including luxury homes, waterfront properties, and a lot of homes with backyard swimming pools, including existing homes and new construction. And if you need a big city fix, Tampa is about an hour away. It goes without saying, Sarasota is the place for anything you can think of to do on the water. Swimming, sailing, skiing, fishing, you name it. And for other outdoor activities, Mayaka State Park is just 19 miles east of downtown Sarasota. It's one of the biggest state parks in Florida. If you're looking for a Florida beach town with some of the best beaches around, a mix of city life that's family friendly with top ranked schools, a vibrant arts community where you'll find a mix of beach and city life, and you feel like you're living on vacation year round, Sarasota might be the place for you. If you've enjoyed watching this video first, thanks for watching till the end and contact me directly if you want to relocate to any location in Florida. I can hook you up with some of the best real estate agents anywhere in the state. And if you'd like to see more content like this, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave a comment.